Supporters of the People's Democratic Party in Gombe State defy restriction order at the Gombe airport to catch a glimpse of Mr. Atiku Abubakar as he alighted from his private plane. The first port of call for the PDP presidential candidates is a wedding ceremony at the palace of the Emir of Gumbe, where he is welcomed by a mammoth crowd. Away from the palace of the Emir of Gumbe, Mr. Tiku Abubakar commissions his presidential campaign office in Gumbe amidst another crowd of supporters who cheer him on. At the airport, Mr. Atiku Abubakar expresses his delight at the reception he got in Gombe State as he assures Nigerians that his party, the PDP, is set to change the course of things while also assuring of his effort to reunite aggrieved members of the party. PDP is a very popular party, it's the oldest party in Nigeria. We might have made mistakes in the past and we have realized we made mistakes and we are ready to correct those mistakes and we believe Nigerians will trust us because they have seen our performance before and they can compare our performance and the performance of our opponents so I think that is that's what we I am still talking to agree members of the party and I believe at the end of the day we are going to get united the PDP stalwarts in Gombe State are optimistic of victory for Mr. Atiku in the 2023 polls. Gombe is fully loaded for Atiku, fully, fully loaded for Atiku. Atiku is, I can tell you, Atiku is, conservatively, Atiku is going to get 90% of the votes. 90%. Quote me anytime, any day, anywhere. 90%. Gombe is fully prepared. His coming here has really proved that he is most accepted among all the other contestants, especially in this part of the country. In the days ahead, campaign activities are expected to commence in earnest, and for Mr. Atiku Abubakar, the issue of support by residents of Gumbi State is heartwarming. Emperor Simon, Channels Television News. Meanwhile, the chairman of the Board of Trustees of the People's Democratic Party, Senator Adolfo Swabara, is assuring members of his party that the crisis within the party would soon be resolved. Speaking after a closed-door meeting with the party's vice presidential candidate, Governor Ifayo Kowa of Delta State at the State Governor's Lodge in Abuja, Senator Wabara says the BOT, which is leading the Consultations and Reconciliation Committee, is planning to meet with the party's presidential candidate, Mr. Tiku Abubakar, and later Governor Yesum Wiki of River State. He adds that the committee will also meet some of the governors.